Hi, this is Nick from Cinco Squad. Today I'll be presenting our Midterm Finger Puppet Management TV show. This will give you an insight to where we are, what is needed, and how we're going to do it as a team. Before getting into the fine details, we'll start with an overall idea and what our objective for this project is. Our overall objective and mission statement for this project is to educate future managers with the ideas and concepts presented in Principles of Management via the use of a familiar TV show entitled Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers helps us showcase both a fun aspect but as well as a creative aspect of management in our daily lives. arguments and problems that up arise during the business practice from both upper and lower management perspectives, particularly with employees engaging with managerial issues that arise. There will also be new ideas to optimize profit and we will watch how the characters decide based upon their personal experiences and through the concepts and practices that management has set in place for the restaurant. The goal of the show is not necessarily to display what a perfect management structure would look like, but more so the real aspect of how management is always being defined and adopting new ideas as ideas come out. Instead, our characters will use management tools outlined in the text to best describe their ability and to make the best of the situations that they find themselves in. Not every situation will be perfect, but there always will be a practice that character will find that resolves the issue at hand. Bob's going to go through a lot of trial and error processes when it comes to managing his own business. These trial and errors are going to be occurring because of the fact that Bob, the owner of Bob's Burgers, has not had full managerial experience, nor had any idea of how it takes to run a restaurant. Due to his poor management skills, it's going to really uprise and bring a lot of issues in, into question from his employees and also his lower management, Linda. Uh, Linda is his wife, who also hires her children as employees, but yet doesn't fully train the employees because there is no structure in place to necessarily judge how an employee should act or what employees should do. It's more so you fake it till you make it. Linda will deal with employee conflicts at times, but it's not always necessarily employee conflicts, but it's personal family conflicts as well. So we'll see a little bit of a power issue between both her employees and the upper management, her husband, Bob. The struggle for Bob's employees will be expressed through a lot of their arguments and ability to, inability to perform for their own duties given to them that their managers assign. We'll see an impact of lacking management structure in the small business, which will add up to a bigger issue at the end of the day, but often the issue does resolve through management talking to employees and getting a better understanding of what the employees want for the restaurant. Management. As you know, Bob is the owner of Bob's Burgers, thus would make him in the part of the upper management. And he runs the business on the daily operations, but he doesn't necessarily know the front of the house anymore. So he's focusing on the back of the business where he cooks up the burgers as well as cooks up the latest and greatest contraptions and vision plans for the business. Linda, however, is more the front of the house where she takes um, care of the customers and makes sure the employee needs are met, but also tries to persuade some of her concepts and employee concepts to Bob, but necessarily Bob will not always accept those. Furthermore, we have Louise, Jean, and Tina, who are all children of Bob and Linda, but are also employees. Thus, we see some interesting dynamics arise with the management aspect of that, as well as the family aspect. You'll often see Louise, for example, taking advantage of the parent aspect in her work role, but needless to say, there are some issues that could arise and that do arise, but as a family, they're going to resolve them, and in the business, they're going to resolve them, but we'll see how that plays out in some of the shows of the characters. As you know, we've already touched on a lot of characters and you already know the ideas and concepts of both Bob and Linda, but we're going to go a little bit further just to make sure it's very clear. Um, the main character, of course, is Bob. He's the owner of the restaurant, but he's struggling to often find new ways to promote his business. He's struggling at times and he often tries to figure out um, how to run the business and how to market to customers and get people in the door. He's a very nice guy and genuine, but sometimes his actions are taken wrong because of the way he presents them. He tries to just make the best for his family and makes the, keeps the business running. Bob cares about the business as a whole. However, he's not around managing the front of the house as much as Linda would like, thus creating some issues right there. And he's often focused on promotion of the restaurant and believes that is where the center of his focus should be, when really it's an overall bigger concept view that he should be addressing. 
Linda, however, the wife of Bob, is very devoted to helping out Bob's Burgers and really doesn't want to give a day of her life off to her, and she keeps working constantly day in and day out. Linda feels that Bob should be present in the, in the restaurant more often than he actually is. This makes Linda's workload double than what it should be because of the fact she has to pick up for where Bob lacks in skills. She is known for her wild yet innocent driven ideas that promote Bob's burgers. Often those ideas never go managed by Bob, but she does often promote them to Bob. Although Bob has the most say, Linda is often one of the most solid ideas. We have Louise, who is the youngest of the children. She's often very intelligent and very manipulative, with which, with, which allows her to get away from being the boss of her older siblings. She prefers Bob over Linda, and is always wearing her pink bunny ears. She needs to often be looked at because of the way she goes about certain things in the restaurant, and often, more than not, she's what causes a lot of the trouble that the family arises and the business has. Next we have Tina, who is the oldest and definitely the most oddball of the family. She talks in a very monotone voice and is very socially awkward, which is a very bit of an issue when it comes to the restaurant and customers. She is known as the voice of reason for the family because she is the most sensible of the kids. Despite how weird she is, she comes up with conclusions and draws the best conclusion possible. Issue. Example of this is the often the scaring customers rather than attracting them. So now that we have our show and we have our characters laid out, let's talk about the target market. And the target market is going to be an audience for the show, and specifically for Bob's Burgers, it's going to be anyone between the ages of 16 to 40 who has an interest in the comedy aspect of managerial. However, for the purposes of the project, we're going to focus solely on the college students who are going to be learning about what defines a good manager and bad sides of a manager. The target audience for our show are those students who have been in management and food who have been involved in management in the food chain and want to learn what errors that they have had or will have and what causes them to subside and go away. So through the show, we hope to teach our management students not only the important aspects of being a strong leader, but also engaging them in a fun way. By using characters on a relevant TV show that's currently being aired, we feel it's going to have a better connection with the audience. lower management and upper management, as well as negotiation of certain aspects. These are just a view. That big, but they are very timing. So we do have to create props. what colors and materials, and for filming episodes, the location, who has the camera, stuff like that. So it's a lot more nitty-gritty.
So let's talk about our milestones and how we're going to tackle the rest of the project. And the key thing at this point is going to be staying organized. We're first going to film episodes 1, 2, and 3. And this will give us the opportunity to see how we should edit So that just leaves one thing next, and the next thing we're going to start progressing on is the filming. So we are in talks about locations as well as time, and that's something we're working on currently right now, and hopefully in the next few weeks we should start filming the project and getting things edited as well. And we hope to see you guys watching.